Hello everyone, I'm here today with Julie E. She is an expert in holistic health nutrition and she is a registered dietitian. She has practiced functional medicine in New York and LA for a total of over 30 years. She's an author and has created the Stretch Ball product and she's here with us today to talk about stress. Uh, welcome Julie. Thank you. And we also have Patty with us today. You guys know Patty. Can you say hello to everybody, Patty? Hi. Hi, everybody. All right. So moving on, um, why, why do you think everybody is stressed out? You, you mentioned that a lot of people are on medications, and one of the, some of those medications are like Prozac, right? Yes. People are just way too stressed out. So what are the contributing factors, and why is that going on right now? That's a great question and again, doesn't have one answer. Um, but one common answer and one big topic is the electromagnetic field. So whether you believe it or not, our bodies are made out of electricity and we are an electromagnetic field as is the earth. And if you could see energy, which you can't because it's intangible, you would see energy circling around this nice soothing circle like over your house almost like an angel circle over their head it's just this nice flowing in one direction and then you put in a cell phone tower so like there's a tower on the north side so now the energy that circle starts to buckle a little and then you go well we don't have reception over here so put in another tower so they put another tower and it starts to go crazy and before you know it that energy is like crazy erratic and it's all around us and everyone's feeling it and then your neighbor upstairs has a Wi-Fi and then you have a Wi-Fi and the guy to your right and left have Wi-Fi so literally you are living in this like crazy er erratic like chaotic energy field so how can you feel normal like you have to pull yourself out and unwind to just like regroup and even just to see and think straight but most people don't know that that exists because people that talk about energy in our society are kind of like kooks or crazy or you know right. that's, the media doesn't want to talk about it at right. all exactly. you know if they interview me they're like well we don't want to talk about that yes. we'll talk about something more scientific so there's this crazy I don't even know how to describe it on a podcast so you could see it but my hands are like shaking in the air it's basically <laughs> it's like ADD it's like everyone is surrounded by ADD in the energy and if we could test the air we would see that that's what the air has and then you're living in it so the EMF is the biggest problem. And so I am a huge proponent of EMF remediation. And um, starting with your cell phone, your laptop, your computer, and your circuit breaker of your home, there's stickers that you can put on them that remediate the field. So in a way, it's like, I think we've all done this when computers first came out. You take your hand like two feet away from your computer screen, and as you get closer, you start to, hand starts to feel like numb, and it starts to feel warm, or you feel something weird. That energy field is bigger than you think. And if you're sitting at your desk, at your computer, you're sitting in this energy field. It usually is about three or four feet at least. And so you're getting this chaos. But when you use EMF remediation stickers, they're usually stickers, there's a few different kinds, um, and you just put it on the bottom of the computer or near the battery, it completely erases that field. And now you are in a harm-free environment. And it actually, the good devices that you can put on, the ones that I use, actually change it from harmful into helpful. And now when you're there, you're actually if you were a cell phone, you're like getting charged instead of getting drained. So that is a huge, huge, huge part of the problem across the board, across the world. And that's just the energy of it. But what the phone does to you nutritionally is it pulls CoQ10 out of your cells. And without CoQ10, you can't make energy. And your electro, it's called your electron transport chain and even your glycolysis. It just doesn't work. So people get headaches and people get depleted. And it also pulls minerals out of your body. And minerals are the thing that make us calm and soothe. So and that's one of the reasons why I love soaking, because we need minerals so badly. So if the phones and the devices are pulling minerals and CoQ10 out of our body, then our circuit breaker is off because we need CoQ10 to work. We're not calm and soothe because we need minerals for that. Um, instead, we have like cramping and tension because we need the minerals. And then we're surrounded by ADD. So that's pretty much how people feel when they live on planet Earth today, unless they do something about it. And, and what's interesting is I'm old, so I've Earth. watched. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. 
Um, young at heart, old in body. But I've watched society get more and more and more and more stressed as more and more technology has been introduced yes. into the world. And I, I, my whole career prior to plant life was tech. I was ah. in the computer industry. And so it used to be a very big deal about the emission from like a monitor that people were watching. And that was, you know, and then when TVs came out even, it was a big deal. Now we're bombarded by everything has a, um, you know, a wireless transmission in right. it. Um, our refrigerators, our cars, our, you know, our cell phone, our TV, our whatever. Is everything, everything surrounded by it. And um, I remember um, a while back we did a thing on um, positive and negative ions, right? I, I'm sure you're very yep. familiar with those. And how the lights, everybody went to um, LCD because the fluorescents were emitting too many, right. uh, whatever their PCBs or whatever they're into the into the air. Um, and so it's it's really interesting how no one's talking about it because it's a multi-trillion dollar business, right? Okay. So it's amazing. Nobody cares about us anymore. It's about and. I'm like wondering when is it going to stop and do people really, really, you know, because we all love our phones so much and we all love everything so much. It's convenience and it's awesome stuff, you know, to be able to communicate all the time. But what is it doing to our health and how are we going to combat it? And I'm really, um, I'm sure people, do you sell those on your I website? I sell them on my website. So yeah. we'll give your website at the end to hear. That's so. great. Yeah. If you can afford an iPhone, you can afford the stickers. They're $35 and yeah. your life and brain are beyond worth it. As are your children. I remember um, when my kid was little, I would see people like at swim class and they had a baby and the baby's like gnawing on the, f the phone. You know, they play with it and now everyone's like, you know, numb. They're at a dining room table. They got the iPad right in front of their face. Can't get it any closer. You know, so they're, we're starting off with our kids like born into it. Plus, think about the pregnant women keeping the phone in their purse and the well, men with the prostate problems that are keeping the phone in their pockets. And, you know, people are having such a difficult time getting pregnant these days but we won't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that's another because... topic. <laughs> but the, you know, the EMF thing, um, my clients cuz they're coming to me already and I do an energy test where I show them the difference of their energy with their phone and with their phone with the stickers on it mm -hmm. and usually it's a jaw open moment like how did you do that? It's like magic. How how did I show them how strong they are and how weak they are holding their phone for 3 seconds? But yet, people don't want to believe it. My mother's husband is 87, and he was the valedictorian of his school when he was younger, really smart guy. And my mom put him on the phone with me because he was having a prostate thing. And she's like, give him a recommendation. And I was like, where do you keep your phone? And he said, in my pocket. And I was like, well, maybe you want to change the location, or maybe you want to put a sticker on it. He goes, I don't believe that. Oh, <laughs> like I know. there's like there's actually some scientific proof if you look online about it. Yeah, I mean, it's ions. there. There's... I mean, negative and positive ions. Negative ions, uh, any like the trees and the wind and the ocean emits uh, negative ions, right. and all the electronic devices and everything man-made emits positive ions, and they're bad for you. And so that's why you feel good when you spend time at the beach or go for a walk in the mountains or hike or whatever. Or, when the wind's blowing because you're getting your body's getting cleaned out of on the ions and and it's hard to see them though people don't believe that but that's scientific it i is mean scientific. just everything you're talking about is scientific and they it do is not, there, there's a couple of um, websites out there that have mris of your brain by itself with a phone and with a phone with the sticker on it mm, and it's a sticker good. it's like it's not expensive you're paying five hundred dollars every year for a new phone pay thirty five dollars for a sticker whether you believe it or not you know you're benefiting somebody yeah but i'm glad you brought up the ions and the earth because that is one of the remediations that i have everybody do so i live close enough to the beach where i go to the beach to get my recharge mm -hmm. um, there's actually a company called earthing and i love their products mm -hmm. and it's connecting you to the earth through a little patch that it goes into a little plug but the plug is connected to the earth it's not an electrical thing um, so i have a lot of clients use that product um, 
that's the shortcut, right? Mm -hmm. If you can't live near the beach or you don't have a park or in the middle of winter when you live in like Michigan, right? Right. You can get your earth time that way. But we all know the earth has energy in it. It creates earthquakes and tornadoes and all kinds of stuff and things grow out of it. So it has amazing energy. And when you, we call it barefoot on the earth for 10 minutes. So if you could have your feet barefoot on the earth for 10 minutes, either go and plant something or play with your dog or your kid on the ground, whether it's grass, dirt, sand, or the ocean, you are getting major healing. And the doctors that can do, or the people that can do live blood analysis, they take a little drop of your blood, they look at your cells before and after you're on the earth, your cells look completely different and completely perfect after you're on the earth. So that is free and it is something everyone can do at least 90% of the time is just get outside. But you can't have rubber underneath your foot. So you flip off your flip flops when you're at your kid's soccer game or baseball game and just get out there. I mean, you think about all for thousands and thousands of years, people didn't wear shoes and people slept on the ground and people, right. you know, they, and you know, I wish there was more that we knew about that time period, about how long people lived and how healthy they were and everything. Right. But I know all of our new, um, you know, diseases that we have nowadays are directly related to all the things that we don't have that we used to do. Right. Well, they used to have diseases of deficiency, and now we have diseases of excess with a deficiency of health. Right. Like a, yeah. a defi we're, we're wearing people wear shoes and sneakers all day. I mean, I have clients that I work with in New York that never touch the earth because they are in the city. Like, never touch the earth. So they, I have them wow. sleep with this patch on. Like, we're talking like 10 months a year, they don't ever touch the ground. Hmm. Like, the real ground, yeah. not the concrete ground. Right. And so for them, the shortcut or the simple solution is to use this earthing patch. And it's magical and it's amazing. Um, I was lucky enough for a minute there, the earthing company made beds. So mm -hmm. I have an earthing bed. So when I'm on it, I'm connected to the earth, and you can tell. It feels like you're sitting on the beach or lying on the beach. It's amazing. So I do recommend that. The salt lamps that are so prevalent right now, you can find them at Bed Bath and all the other places around town. Put one right under your television or near your computer. I have it in my son's room as his nightlight so that it's just emitting some healthy ions mm -hmm. while you're asleep. Mm -hmm. So there's so many little tools we can give people to decrease that electromagnetic stress, absolutely. So what are some of the, the easiest things you can do just overall to relieve stress, aside from the electromagnetics? Right, um, well, people have stress also if they're not digesting their food and people have stress from other people in their lives. Um, so, you know, cleaning out your friend list a little bit and, you know, the more, <laughs> Clearing some stress out of your life will actually help you feel better because sometimes it is a person or a thing. Um, you know, that's one thing you can do. That takes a little bit more time. Um, yoga, breathing, meditation, any of those kind of martial arts things. And even if you don't think it's, a, if you don't think you want to do meditation or you don't think you have time or you don't know how to do it, all you have to do is like right now, everybody just take a deep breath in, like just big breath and exhale. That was a meditation, okay? But well, let's let's take it a little further. I want to give you one more tip. So take another big breath in, and exhale it out, and then hold the exhale out for a second, and then inhale in again for a second, and hold, and exhale out for a second, and then hold your breath out while it's out, and one more time. Inhale in again. And then hold your breath. While you have your breath held, try to think about something. See if a thought comes into your mind. And then exhale. And after the breath is out, hold your breath again for a second and try to think of a thought. And then relax and just go back to neutral breathing. So the space between the breath is called still point. And everyone could do that, and everyone has time to do that because we just did it in like a minute. So on her way to work, on your show way, just <laughs> shut the radio and just breathe for a minute. That's a meditation. That's going to bring everyone down. And still point, did, did anyone, were you able to have a thought or did your mm -hmm. mind go blank? My mind went blank. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's what happens is that you can have a moment where your mind is not going. Mm -hmm. 
So that's pretty cool technique that I love to do. And another technique a lot of the yogis use is rub your hands really super vigorously until they're really, really, really warm, and then put them over your eyes. So the palms of your hands. The palms of your hands, yeah. yeah. Get them like hot, hot, hot. Really super, super warm, and you can definitely do this at night. And then when they're warm, put them over your eyes and just breathe for two or three breaths. And then one more breath. And again, it just, you're focusing your attention on breathing that it takes your mind off of your to-do list. Mm -hmm. So really the simplest techniques, I know everyone could do that, especially all of our listeners right now. Those are easy to do. I could lay down a list of a bunch of nutrients that will also help decrease stress, B vitamins. We already talked about calcium, magnesium, and minerals. Um, Having more fat in your diet will actually calm down your nervous system and definitely essential oils. I mean, I love lavender and valerian are two of the top ones I've always used to get clients to sleep. And I know your sleep tight has them both in it, right? Yes, yes it does. So I like diffusing sleep tight into the house at night. Um, Or better yet, if you are a stressed out person, turn the diffuser on when you leave for work so that when you come home your house just smells like it and you just like walk into that. So 99% of how you feel comes from your environment. So you can decorate your house with soothing soft colors, um, clear out some clutter and purge, you know, because it definitely always feels better when something looks a little neater versus when you walk in and you see piles and clutter. That's kind of more of a stress thing. Um, is it true that when um, people get stressed, they hold their breath and they, they you know, because they're tense and they're tense in their body, so lack of oxygen. And so when you're breathing, um, you know, you're breathing in, that, in the oxygen, which is helping to calm the body down? Absolutely. So oxy- oxygen, a lot of nutrients travel around the body bound to oxygen. So if you take vitamins but you don't breathe, you may not be sending the nutrients to your heart. Um, so the legs on the wall pose is also a great thing to bring the blood from your feet down to your hips. Um, and I'm, it's to lay on your back with your rear end of the wall and your feet up in the air. But also if you don't take nutrients when you do that, your blood is going to your heart, but it's not necessarily carrying nutrients, but you will get oxygen from that. So we need to have circulation going on in the body, and that's where exercise comes in. And you know, tapping is like the miniature version of exercise. You're kind of exercising your organs. Um, but absolutely oxygen, in an oxygen-rich environment, bacteria, fungus, and virus cannot live, and neither can cancer. So if you want to stay healthy, you want to have an oxygen-rich environment. And by the way, the number one reason why everyone is drinking green drinks is because of the oxygen that's in the greens. Oh, that's, yes, So we need more oxygen so we can get it from air and breathing, right? And I actually do like the oxygen um, that you can just breathe in. Mm -hmm. Boost makes a great one. You can just spray it into your mouth and inhale oxygen. Mm -hmm. Um, I take that when I'm skiing because Mm -hmm. when you're in the mountains and you're huffing and puffing, a lot of people get altitude sickness. Oxygen is the thing. Mm -hmm. So do any of your, um, any essential oils help boost oxygen? Hmm. I just sprung that question on you. It's not, it's just came, it just came to my mind. I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that question. But I know that, um, you know, when you breathe in the molecules um, from a, when you diffuse essential oils and they, each oil has a different effect on the body, obviously. And um, plants in their own right create oxygen. Right. So, you know, scientifically or logically, I would think that they do just by the mere fact that you're breathing them in and those molecules are going into your uh, system. And so, but just the process of inhaling and smelling them is going to just get, again, it's like getting the nutrient moving. Um, Something that I like to say that just dawned on me when you said plant is, you know, a plant thrives being outside 24 7, right? Mm -hmm. If I put my arm outside for 24 7 in the summer, it would just fry, right? It would fry, it would crack, it would be painful. But a plant has these amazing properties that is why we eat them. Right. And that is why we use them topically or in our right. bodies, right? We, we want what plants have. They yes. thrive from being outside and being in the sun. And the, the more that a plant can 
um, stay in a variety of temperatures and mm -hmm. still thrive, the more antioxidants they have, which means the more that they will help you combat stress. Yeah, that's why eating raw is so good for you. Yeah, and just eating more yeah. plant, you know, more <clears throat> plants in yeah. general, right? That's why yeah. I do recommend eating at least 80% vegetarian diet because we need more plants. We don't need 100% animal protein, right. even if we, even if our body requires protein, we don't need 100% of it. We still need the fruits and the vegetables and the plants and yeah. you know all the nutrients that they have. An interesting story, my husband is just addicted to protein drinks and um, we're, again, older people and um, he's very, very fit. And, um, he, he just, he loves his protein drinks and he just swears by them, how great they make him feel. So he went and just had his blood analyzed um, with via live blood analysis. And um, they said, get off the protein. Oh, wow. Yeah, because he, he also eats meat. So okay. he has a high protein diet all, right. the, all the way around. So they said, um, so much protein causes heart attacks. And you're overdoing it on too much protein. Right. So they saw that the, literally the protein was in the blood. Oh, wow. Overabundance. Yeah. So, so it also affects the kidneys. So if your kidneys aren't filtering everything out, and the kidneys are part of that assembly line where everything has to get filtered out through the body. And if the lymph is backed up, which is very common in people, then it will back up the kidneys. And if you take in a lot of protein, um, then you're going to overload the kidneys. And so probably he has, we all do, have infection and toxicity in our body. Mm -hmm. We live in an environment of toxic soup, like we're just breathing it or eating it or smelling it continuously. So we have to tend to our assembly line and make sure we are constantly filtering it out. But the people that feel better when they eat, like your husband, like mm -hmm. he's doing a lot of protein and he feels better with it, is because he's probably help, he needs that much protein to fight infection. Mm. Um, it's kind of like why people that take meat out sometimes feel better because they're putting less stuff in. Doesn't mean they're healthier, but for now they feel better. So you really have to address what's going on in your actual today body is mm -hmm. what I call it. Mm -hmm. And so today maybe you need a vegetarian meal and maybe next month you need more